Hi, my name is Alina Beckman and I'm with Adjuster Pro Training. Today we're working in Simbility and this video is going to be a tutorial on how to add reference blocks to your floor plan. Reference blocks are very useful because they will remove the square footage of carpet or tile below them and then the square footage of the wall behind them. And uh, we use reference blocks most usually for base cabinets, upper cabinets, and the vanities and bathroom. You can also use them for things like tub surrounds and um, kind of a myriad of things. That's also how you would uh, create a tray ceiling would be with your reference blocks. So let me just do a simple tutorial here on how to use those. Right, so uh, we're going to add a uh, reference block to our kitchen here in order to add some toe kick to a, a base cabinet. And um, let me show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to be adding my cabinet um, here to the southern wall of the kitchen. So first I'm going to highlight that southern wall. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Wall Editor at the top portion of your screen. This is one of the easiest ways to add base cabinets and upper cabinets um, You know, in the same action um, is to use this Wall Editor. All right, so I'm going to go and uh, choose my block here. I'm going to left click on the block at the top left portion of the screen. And that'll bring in this green block here. It is a 3D block, meaning it's got um, a cubic feet to it. It has a length, a width, and a depth. So we need to set up all three of those dimensions correctly. So for the base cabinet, I'm going to make it uh, 7 foot 8 in length. So I'm going to highlight this top dimension here. That's going to be our length. I'm going to left click on that. 7 apostrophe 8 will uh, translate out to 7 foot 8 in the program. And then I'm going to edit my width here, or actually this is our height. Um, the height is 3 feet. That's good for base cabinets. So that's going to be just fine. So I'm going to uh, only need to edit my depth here down the bottom right corner. You'll see D3. Uh, 3 feet is where it's at, so I'm going to left click on that. And uh, we're going to make the depth of these uh, base cabinets just make it 2 foot. Just make it easy there. Okay, so we have a base cabinet here, 7 foot 8 by three foot tall and two feet deep. Next let's go ahead and set our upper cabinets. I'm going to go and revisit and grab the block again at the top left corner of our screen here. Left click on block. And that'll bring that block back in here and I'm just going to kind of set it above in the top right corner of our room. And i um, going to make the dimensions this, the uh, length is going to be the same as our base cabinet. So up here I'm going to put in here 7 apostrophe 8. That's going to bring out the 7 foot 8 length. Uh, I'll leave the 3 foot height. That'll be okay. But let's change our depth here to 1 foot for upper cabinets. Right, so it's going to left click on the D 3 foot there, the depth, and uh, change that to 1. Type 1 on my enter key and the uh, enter key on my keyboard, and that'll create the upper cabinets. All right, so just by adding these reference blocks, it will tell the program that whenever I set paint um, or carpet or tile in here or um, you know, vinyl flooring, it will remove that square footage for these reference blocks. Okay, so let's go back to our floor plan here. At the top of your screen, you've got a floor plan view. I'm going to left click on floor plan. And we can go into our bathroom and uh, do the same action. Let's just add a vanity. But this time, let's go ahead and add it in plan view. Um, if you don't, aren't working with upper cabinets, it's okay to just go ahead and add things, um, the reference block in plan view. So what I can do is double click on the bathroom. And that'll bring up that bathroom um, larger in the screen here, make it easier for me to work. And I'm going to go, going to go at the top portion of my screen where it says block. Left click on block there. And let's make it a four foot long vanity. So that's my length. Uh, two foot wide. So that's my width there. And I'm using these handles just to left click, hold, and drag this time. All right, so we've got that. And my height is three. That looks good to me. I'm going to move uh, left click, hold, and drag this block up in the top left corner there. That's um, where I'm going to place my vanity. Um, actually, let's put it in the middle of the wall, sort of right here. That would be fine too. All right, now let's go ahead and add uh, an item to our reference block. Not only does a reference block remove area, but allows you to attach an item to the 
reference area to have it uh, adhere to its square footage or its linear feet. So um, let's go on over to our kitchen here. I'm just going to scroll to the right, and there you can see my kitchen base cabinet. Let's go ahead and add some toe kick to that kitchen base cabinet. I'm going to search for the toe kick in my item area here using the binocular tool of the search by keyword. Left click there. And uh, let's search for some uh, toe kick. So I'm just going to type in toe kick and see what my options are. All right, there we go. Cabinet toe kick masonite. That'll fit the bill just fine. I'm going to highlight that. That's going to drop down our actions for that item. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and choose remove and hold down my control key on my keyboard and choose replace. And that'll allow me to highlight both items to be added to the, to, uh, the uh, base cabinet here. So if I left click hold and drag those items up to the front of this uh, reference area I've created, I can go ahead and let go there and that will calculate the correct quantity of toe kick for the front of my base cabinets. All right, and that is how reference blocks and reference areas uh, work there and uh, adding items to those areas. Thanks for watching. This is Alina Beckman with uh, Just Pro Training and this will end the tutorial.